Time now for Kyle's Weather Classroom here on Quad Cities today at 11. Now that we're behind the heavy snow and bitter cold temperatures, you may have noticed pesky potholes popping up in your neighborhood. But have you ever wondered how they form? Here's the science behind pothole formation. After being walloped by more than two feet of snow and bitter cold temperatures earlier in January, our roads have taken a beating now that the snow is melting and temperatures are starting to warm up. The fluctuating temperatures and precipitation contribute to the annual formation of potholes, which can cause damage to your vehicle. So how exactly do potholes form? Throughout the winter months, water from rain and snow seeps into the road through cracks, which collects underneath, softening the base of the road. Once the water freezes, the base expands and forces the pavement upward. The tires from frequent traffic adds extra stress onto the pavement. Once drier air arrives, the water dissipates, leaving a hole under the pavement. The weight of vehicles passing by causes the surface of the road to collapse, creating a pothole. If a pothole is not fixed, continuous traffic can expand the hole over time. You may see area public works crews out and about across the QCA over the next several weeks and months, working to fix the potholes, even if it is just a temporary fix. Patience, patience, patience. Well, chances are you've already counted many potholes in your neighborhood, and many of our local cities have programs in place where you can actually report a pothole to get filled, and some have incentives as well. We have links to the Davenport, uh, Davenport rather, Bettendorf, Moline, and Rock Island Public Works departments on our website and news app right now. We'll be right back.